look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you now, what I'm going to cover in this reaction video, man, it should be something that should make every man blood, blood boil. Because I'm going to show you a modern woman, black woman in particular, who went out of her way to try to destroy a young black male's reputation and possible career by chasing clout, by trying to expose him to be something that he really wasn't, just so she can get some views, some likes, some comments, and to go viral. This is a bad age we stay in, man. But hold on. Let me go ahead and put on your screen right quick. Hold on one sec. Hope y'all doing all right today. Now, as I always say now, let's get it. A young lady is being accused of being a clout chaser and trying to ruin a young black man's career. Now, this young lady's name is Kiani, allegedly an unlicensed nail tech out of Mississippi. And she was walking in Target and she came upon this man whom she accused of following her. Each other. I wasn't. Why are you following me? I'm not. I'm looking for money. I just turned on three hours and you still behind me. Can you get you the fuck it. on? Now nah, let's get there, man. You can go to any type of um retail store and bump into the same people three or four times because you don't know what they shopping for. You can run into the same person on the next aisle and see them across from the register and uh self-checkout and everything like that. Doesn't mean that the person is following you or that you are following that person. You see, because of this social media age, everybody wants to be a star. She don't care about trying to make this man look like a predator. She doesn't care about disrespecting him. You see how composed he is, how respectful he is. I wouldn't even see, he's different from me because at a certain point when she said, can you get the F on? That's when I probably would have said something to her a little bit more aggressive than what he did. Don't get me wrong now. I'm not who I used to be when I was in my younger years, but you still gonna have to dis still gonna have to respect me. So that's sad, man, that a man can't even go to Target to look for some items to put into his household without a woman acting like this. And then she blasts this dude on social media. So what's going to happen? He's going to respond to this because it went viral over a million views of her accusing this man of being some dude that's creepy that follows her or follows women in the store. Let's keep going. On three hours and you still behind me. Can you get the fuck on? Record each other. I won. Now she posted this video to TikTok and it went viral. Over one million views on the video. It prompted the young man whom she accused to come online and set the story straight. Good afternoon. My name is Christian Hufton. I'm a senior music education major from Jackson State University. I'm also the head J5 drum major of the Sonic Boom in the South. And well, this young brother here is an educated man, an intellectual, a man who's trying to do something with his life. He should not be having to deal with this type of shenanigans because of a mustard back heifer who want to get some clout. And so I'm posting this video in regards to a video that's circulating about me following some lady. And I'm here to say, that's not true. I wasn't following the lady, I was looking for a lamp. So let's get into it, right? I decided to go to Target because I needed two things. Well, actually three things. So I wanted some homecoming clothes, right? That's the one thing. Second thing is a lamp. Of course, within the homecoming clothes, I wanted a shirt, pants, whatever, and the lamp. I want to close because, of course, it's homecoming. I want to look fly. Who don't want to look fly for their HBCU college homecoming? Right. I got a, I wanted a lamp because it's like, okay, get a lamp for my room. Like, who don't want a lamp? And all those comments talking about some, oh, men don't even shop for lamps. What about don't shop for lamps? Like, I, I, I don't know. Anyways, I go into the store, right? I'm looking at the shirts. I'm just like... Yeah, I don't really know. I'm not feeling the shirt, right? I look at the pants. I'm just like, I don't really know. So in my head, I'm just like, you know, okay, can't find the shirt, can't find the pants. I can go to somewhere like Burlington, right? Burlington is, you no, know, down the street and go to Burlington. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, let's go look for the lamp. I, as I'm walking for the lamps, right? I know where the lamps are at. I know which aisle is in, right? I'm walking towards the lamp. The lady is in front of me. She's walking the same direction. Of course, you know, I'm not paying no mind. I'm not really paying attention. My mind is, okay, 
finna go get a limp, right? I get to the aisle on the limps. The lady turns around and she says, are you recording me? And I was like, um, no. And I showed her my phone to prove that I wasn't recording her. Like, That's true because when she accused him of following her and recording her for, I don't know why she, she don't look that damn good for anybody to be recording anyway, but when she accused him of recording her, he presented in that video that you saw in the beginning, the first clip, his phone to her. He showed it to him, but it wasn't enough. She had to push the issue further. She had to be disrespectful and cuss him out. She had to post it on TikTok. The man walked off. He didn't do anything to her. If it was something so terrible, so bad, then how come you didn't call for security? How come you didn't ask for a supervisor? How come you didn't call the police? How come you didn't do something else? Nah, you thought you had you something. You thought you had the golden egg. You think you had a golden goose. You thought you had a million dollar um, viral moment, so you posted it slaughtering the image of another black man and you wonder why i'm so tough on my content you can see like in the uh the video that it has my lock screen me you know doing my little drum major thing and she pulled her phone out and she was like ah since they recorded me we can record each other right so mine i'm like oh my god here it is here we go, like, here we go. she was like why are you following me I was like I'm not following you. Like, I'm getting a lamp. Like, literally, I pointed at the lamp in the video, right? She was like, uh, well, you've been following me for three hours. So, can you get a huh? So, in my mind, I'm just like, you know what? Okay, she already got her mind made up that I was following her. So, I was like, you know what? Okay, cool. Left it alone, right? Boom! Chapter two. Couple hours later, I'm at band practice. Mind you, I already said I'm head J5 drum major. Y'all already know, right? I'm at band practice. I'm chilling. Looking on my phone, my friend calls me. She was like, hey, it's a TikTok about you. I'm like, oh, is it a TikTok with me and my drum major brother? Cause you know, we just made one, right? Of us doing like dance moves and stuff. She was like, um, no, send me the video. Tell me why this woman done posted me on TikTok. I'm like, right, so this is what we're gonna do, right? So as practice is going on, people are calling me. People are like, are you good? This lady saying this, this, and that. Was you following some lady? And I'm just like, no. And so, of course, after like 20, 30 minutes, the video got deleted. I don't know what happened. I she deleted that video because I guess she didn't think it was going to go viral. But because she started to get a lot of attention for it, even after she deleted it, she re-uploaded it, hoping that she can get more views. You get what I'm saying? She didn't care about this man's well-being. They care about, see, this is why men are not approaching modern women today. Y'all keep complaining about where the men at? How come the men are not approaching us? This is why he wasn't even trying to approach her and look at the negative consequence that he had with that black woman. He wasn't even, he was looking for a lamp. He was trying to buy some stuff for his little homecoming. He was minding his own business and he was still respectful to her even though she was accusational adversarial and disrespectful to him and just walked off he just walked off this is why we are not seeing you as the way you want us to see you because you come across as combative and as if you are an aggressor and how come and excuse me and these women come across as the enemy like you just don't like us no matter what we do the video got deleted i don't know what happened i guess like folks reported they got taken down or what 30 minutes later, the video's back up. So now my phone is going insane. People are like, yo, Christian, you good? Like this, this lady over here saying some crazy stuff about you. And of course I'm responding back like, no, like what the world? So, okay, that's the encounter, right? I'm not going, I'm trying not to make this video longer than it has to be, but I'm finna go into what I really done had to deal with in the last 96 hours, okay? So mind you, her video is damn near touching a million views right now right the amount of emotional damage i have suffered from this video is really crazy like every day emotional damage from a woman he don't know who took it upon herself to do this man this way that's wicked man a young man do you know that uh men have the highest rates of unaliving themselves you don't know if this man could have been going through mentally already and then you do this to him what people are calling him, just saying, man, what's going on? And then strangers he don't know is just leaving comments and leaving messages on his phone and leaving comments on his TikTok saying, you are a creep or stuff like that. Do you know what the emotional toil he must have been going through for 96 hours, a little over three days, man? To the point where he felt the need that he a need to respond back to that TikTok by making one of his own to try to tell y'all that he's not that kind of guy. 
Oh, it's crazy, man. The amount of emotional damage I have suffered from this video is really crazy. Like, every day, like, I, I can't even... I, I wake up with something heavy on my heart. Like, it's just like, bro, like, that's not even me. That's not my character. I'm not out here following no one. I'm a young, 22-year-old college man pursuing an education far away from home. I'm not... I'm not even from here, bro. I, I stayed nine hours away from here, bro. Like, I don't... I came to Mississippi for one thing, and that was a degree. And once I get this degree, I'm gone. That's it. So it's just like, err, like, I, I don't know. Like, my nerves are bad. My anxiety's bad. Of course, all y'all TikToking people really don't care, but it's all good. All right. This video getting long. Um, Yeah, that's basically what happened. I, I'm not really expecting anyone to sit here and pick and choose a side, but I just felt like it was important for people to know my side of it in my perspective of what happened because i feel like people out here saying what well, i see in the comments oh he a secret shopper no i'm not no secret shopper oh he oh you just follow women i don't follow women okay but yeah i guess the end of the video you know if you can please share this share this around hopefully this go viral i honestly don't care if it doesn't go viral but i hope this answers any questions that anyone has about this whole situation Man, check it out, man. See what I'm saying? People talking bad about him. Now, imagine if he wants to get interested in a woman or something like that, and then this comes up, that he's supposed to be this creepazoid that run around the store following women. You see what I'm saying? Man, it's crazy, man, how women are, man. Purposely trying to destroy this man's image, man. I would try to sue up for defamation of character if possible. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's too much, man, for a young man to be dealing with. Well, anyway, I'll be talking to y'all pretty soon. Y'all take it easy now, you hear me?